Hey, hey, everybody. A, a question that came to me in the group was, how do you do pricing when you want to uh, basically uh, build something on the front end and charge them for that, but you also want to offer a trial, and then after that, you want a monthly recurring uh, plan to go into effect. So what I'm showing you here is just a simple little funnel page where people are choosing their plan. A basic plan would be $197 a month, for instance. And with that plan, I've just listed the different things that they have access to. And they can select that and uh, they're good to go. Or the pro plan, which is there's a done for you aspect connected with it and then the rest of the things. And they could choose that. So how does that look with the checkout? So I set this up so that it opens a pop-up. And so when the pop-up happens, here's just the generic information. And then notice down here, I've set it so it is a toggle. They have to pick one or the other. In this instance, they can't pick both uh, because they both have a reoccurring charge to it. So let me just talk about this and then I'll take you behind the scenes so you can see how we set that up. So this one here is just showing it's the advanced uh, marketing plan 197 a month or the one with the setup plan of a thousand bucks plus 249 monthly reoccurring. Okay. Um, now with the second one, notice I'm also giving them a 30 day trial. So when they click that, it's only going to a thousand dollars. Then it will wait for 30 days and then it will start charging them the monthly reoccurring fee of $249. So how do we set that up? Let me go to the back end here and show you. So uh, right now I'm inside the funnel and um, it's just a, a simple, a little two column funnel here and the button, again, when we click on it, it opens up a pop-up. So if I come up here to pop-up and I just uh, have a couple of, um, uh, headline uh, text here, and then I insert um, the uh, checkout form here, okay? Now, in this instance, I'm just using a one-step checkout. Uh, usually, it's better to do a two-step checkout because if they back out, you at least get their name and email. In this instance, though, it's just a one-step. They'll fill everything out, and then uh, they're good to go on that. So how does this look on the back end? So when we set up the product, we come over here to the left to payments, and then we, uh, let me click on that. And then up here at the top, we go to products. And I have two products here. So the first one was just the 197 advanced plan. And nothing fancy about this. I've got other uh, videos that go through everything basically step by step, but it's just 197. Uh, if we open this up, uh, there's no trial period and uh, there's no setup fee and it automatically charges the 197. So that is the first one. Then the second one, let me show you what this looks like. This one, we have what I'm calling a setup plan uh, of $1,000 plus the advanced monthly reoccurring of $249. So when we come down here, uh, you'll see, let me open this up. The difference is, so our reoccurring charge is the $249 uh, every month. But then notice here, the trial period is 30 days. And then uh, we don't put anything under number of payments. And then here, the setup fee is $1,000, all right? So it's that easy. So let me just come back um, and let's go back to the funnel page. And let me just show you one last thing that you need to modify on that. So when you're adding uh, checkouts, there's a couple of different ways that you can access the checkout. One is um, 
called store basically. So as soon as this opens, I'll show you. So let me just come down here to where we have this one here. So again, I've connected this to a pop-up. You could just do it right on the page if you wanted, but um, I put it on the pop-up. So I'm gonna select the checkout form and go to my settings. I'm just click, clicking the little gear. And then over here, when we scroll down under advanced, keep going down here a little bit, notice kind of near the bottom, there's an option called main product options, enable cart mode. This is turned off. If you turn that on, then you can give people the option of purchasing more than one thing. So uh, maybe in addition to this, um, there's also something else that I offer that's not a reoccurring item. Then I would turn the cart on so they could click more than one option. But in this instance, there are two different reoccurring um, things, one with the free 30 days, and the additional setup B where I'm setting everything up on the back end. The other one is just a straight reoccurring, no uh, trial period. So I've left that off, okay? So I'll pop back over here. So again, you can see it, uh, and then they just toggle back and forth whichever one they want. So that's one way that you can handle the multiple, um, to have recurring items, and also to give them that trial period plus to have that set up be. Uh, if you want help getting any of this uh, set up, feel free to reach out and you can join our Digital Business Academy membership. Or if you want me to build it for you, just like what I've demonstrated here, I will build your um, build and install your back end lead offer, get things set up for you, and provide that um, premium support, Boxster, and email support on a daily basis. So uh, if you need help and you want to fast track the process, uh, I'll put the link below and um, I'd love to help you. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.